And happening right now, dozens of protesters are rallying at Terry Shrunk Plaza right now. They're angry with the governor about the proposed Nestle water bottling plant, which would be built in Cascade Locks. Our reporter Jessica Morkert has been following this story. She joins us. Let's do the other side. Supporters say this would bring much needed jobs to that area of Cascade Locks. That's right, Jeff, but opponents here say jobs at the stake of what? If it's at the stake of the spring water supply, then they don't want it. As you can see, this rally, it's still going on at this 5 o'clock hour. It started at 4, but we still have easily about 100 people here. They've been carrying signs and singing and chanting. They feel the water supply should be left alone, and they've even brought out life-size water bottles and anti-Nestle signs and voiced concerns about the environmental damage they believe the plant will do. They say allowing Nestle to use the water supply is basically giving away a public resource. And they've gathered 30,000 signatures, given them to the governor, who has allowed the permitting process for this plant to move forward. They could have set up a plant two years ago bottling municipal tap water under the Pure Life brand, but they're holding out for the more expensive spring water. Although they wouldn't be paying any more for that water, they, but they would be able to sell it for a higher amount. Now, Cascade Locks Board of Commissioners president did release this statement saying in part that these groups rarely understand our town's economic needs or our longstanding commitment to water and environmental stewardship. And the proposed Nestle Waters plant at full build out would provide up to 50 new well paying jobs in Cascade Locks, which would add significantly to our employment base. The president says that Nestle will not assume water rights, but become a regular paying customer. But again, this proposal is still in its beginning stages. It could be years before uh, it actually happens. I'm told that they're still even in the application process with these protesters here. They say they plan to be there every step of the way. Reporting for you live in downtown Portland, Jessica Morkert, Quinn Local 6.